Hello everybody, my name is Farmer Phil and today I'm going to be showing you how to lay pipe in a field for an umbilical system so you can spread the field. So, I'm just doing this because as everyone knows, there's a lot of snow outside and there's not much going on so I'm just going to do this inside and hopefully it'll be of some use to some of you. So, however, let's get started. So now, first things first, we we'll look at where we're going to come in now. This is a lovely square field as you can see lovely square field maybe it's a paddocks in a, in a dairy man's farm but however so we look at the gap so let's just draw in a gap there so that's the gap we're coming in so once you know where your gap is the next thing you're looking for is the longest distance so the longest distance then is over here this corner and then the next thing we want to look at is where we're going next if this is the last field in a line of fields we're doing or the only field we're doing it's straightforward you lay your pipe to your furthest distance so you have enough piping to do the field but when, if it's the first field or it's a field in a line of fields you're doing or paddocks, you look at where you're going next. So if I'm going on out here, then I have to look at the next field. I have to see where the gap is. So where the gap is or where if there's no gap, where is there a hole in the hedge that I can pull it through? Or where is there, like sometimes you have a hedge that isn't very strong and you'll have to find a tree so that you're able to pull the pipe round because a pipe full of slurry it'll pull down fences, it'll pull down corner posts, it'll pull down gates I haven't seen it break an ESB pole yet but I try and avoid pulling them around it just in general because it's not something I want to have to happen but when a pipe is blown out it's a lot easier but with them we look at the next field and we look at what shape it is in relation so like you could have the corner there but the field you're going into next is very short going that way but really long going that way and depending on how much piping you have laid out in this field, it mightn't be you mightn't be able to pull all the pipe, spare piping you have in this field in here to go that way. And also, depending on where you're going again after that, you could be doing this field and then going on out on that way. So what you'd normally do in that situation, you'd find a hole in this corner or find somewhere where you can get the pipe through there that you're able to go out into that field and go that way. You're always trying to look at the shortest possible distance from where you're from true fields into other fields as the less piping you have the better pressure you're going to have the quicker you're going to get a job done so for argument's sake let's say as i said we have a short narrow field or a short field going that way but a long field going back that way and it's going on out then that way with the rest of the piping so we go then and we'd lay our piping to that corner and when you're laying piping you always want to try and have more than enough like just having enough piping to go there you can run into problems, especially like if I was going to spread it that way, I'd have problems, I'd have too short a piping and I'd have an awful pull on the tractor, sideways pull, which is not good for the back axles in the back axles in the tractor. And it's also it's not good in your dribble bar system or your wag tail or that it puts an awful pressure and also your pipe then is in a tight curl and it'll also it'll start twisting and rolling on you and that's something you don't want either as that's going to cause problems. So you always try and have just enough, you know, that, about that much more piping. Now, you work in two lengths of 200 meters, and you only try and pull a 200 meter pipe at any one time. Pull them any more than that with slurry in it, depending on the ground conditions, can be hard. It's not so much hard in the tractor when you got a straight pull, but if you're, if for the sake of wet ground or that, you don't really want to pull much more. So you always want to try and have a little loop. That's why we always carry a, a short, short pipe, as we call it, and a long, short one. So that you're always able to just match it up to get something similar to that. And also, too much piping is nearly worse than not enough. Because you'll end up with little elbows. And when you're spreading, then the pipe can sometimes go under it. And if it goes under that, it'll start balling and not. And it's just a mess. It's just a mess. So now I have my pipe laid. And I know I'm trying to look for a hole somewhere here to go through. I'm going through somewhere there. So then I see I want to spread my pipe up and down the field that way, going crossways and finishing up somewhere over there. That means most of my piping will end up over here for an easy pull out through. I will, if I was to start at this end and go that way, I'd have all my piping here and it'd make it difficult to try and get enough piping over that way. I'll end up with a loop going that way and out. Whereas if I do it this way, I should be able to get it fairly straight going out and reduce the amount of piping I need. Straightforward enough. Now hopefully I'm going to try and keep this as uh, short as I can and if you like it and you're interested to see more I might do another one and do more complicated stuff as this is fairly straightforward and then I suppose the next thing to say is when it comes time you blow out and you're ready to roll up you want your pipe as straight as possible 
as straight as possible. Now I'll just rub out what I'm after drawing here. Like if you can end up with your pipe, so to speak, um yeah, so let, let's just say this is the field and I, I finish up in this corner and I just have I have this little loop of pipe here and going that way. That's a hundred percent for rolling up. When you start to roll that up, that'll straighten out, you won't have any knots, you're a hundred percent. But if you were to have it going like this that's just, that's going to cause you problems because you'll end up with twist coming in the pipe and you won't be able to roll out any air or slurry that might be in the pipe and you'll have to wait till your pipe gets straight before the end of the pipe will start to unravel itself to let how all the back pressure you have to put on and your pipe will roll up fat and you'll, it's just messy it's just very messy you always want to make sure that your pipe is as straight as possible for rolling up as straight as possible You'll get away with S bends either. So if your pipe is going like this, and you're going up to that corner, that'll straighten out when you go to roll because it'll count any roll twist you get that way will counter out by it going that way. That will work out fairly straightforward as well for rolling up pipe. And I think that's all I'm going to do now in this video. If you've liked what I've done, please hit down in the comments below if it's been of any use to you. I'll do more complicated stuff like popping in wet spots and how to spread wet spots, how to spread hills like hilly ground. We spread a lot of hilly ground and it's very tricky like hopefully some of the hilliest ground we do hopefully when I eventually get my drone I'll make a video, proper video of how we spread them. But I can sort of help you out on odd shaped fields and that sort of thing. So if you have any interest in that please let me know in the comments down below and I will get to it. And also I just want to give a shout out to my girlfriend Liv. I said I'd do it so hi Liv, this is your shout out. So that's it from me. Please any comments or anything you want me to see do or anything like that hit me down in the comments down below that is it from me please like and subscribe to my channel good luck